If you want to know how you can get your merch listed on Spotify, then this is the video for you. Hey, my name's Joey, and I'm a singer-songwriter, voiceover artist, and I make content like this on YouTube. So if this is your thing, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next episode. All right, so you're a musician, you've been releasing music, you have a Spotify profile already. You do have one of those, don't you? All right, step one is really easy. You have to have access to your Spotify for Artists profile. A bit self-explanatory, but if you don't have access to this, you won't be able to add your merch to your Spotify profile. Once you have access to that, you can move on to step two, which is getting yourself a Shopify storefront. I'm really sorry, but in order to have your merch listed on Spotify, you have to have it listed on Shopify, which is a huge kick in the teeth if you already have your merch listed on a different storefront, such as Wix. Now, before you exit this video and decide that getting your merch listed on Spotify just isn't for you because you don't want to pay for another service, wait, just wait, hear me out for one second. I found a link where you can get a Shopify store for one pound a month for three months. You don't have to lock in for a 12 month period. You do have to make sure that you remember to cancel at the end of the three months or you will be charged monthly at the full price. So proceed with caution, set a reminder if you're like me and you need a reminder. I posted that link below in the description if you want to use it. It's not an affiliate link, it's just the link that I found and used for myself while I weigh up whether or not this is worth it financially for me to continue with Shopify. All right, so you have access to your Spotify for Artists, you now have a Shopify storefront, and you've listed a few things for sale. If you need help figuring out how to list your stuff for sale on Shopify, let me know in the comments below and I'll maybe make another video in the future that will help walk you through how to do this. Once you have all of this in place, you can go to your Spotify for Artists profile, go to your actual profile, navigate over to where it says Merch, with the beta sign. You're gonna see a headline that says, sell merch on Spotify. Connect a Shopify store to sell merch directly to fans as they stream your music. Click connect store, and it's going to ask you to enter your Shopify store address to connect to your account. Go to your Shopify store. You're gonna click on settings. Scroll down to here where it says domains. Select it. Now, if you've attached your own domain address, this is not what Spotify is looking for. They are looking for the Shopify address. That'll be this one here that has a string of numbers and letters followed by myshopify.com. Select that, copy it, and go back to the Spotify for Artists page. All right, you're gonna paste it, and then you're going to click Link Shop. This will take you to a Shopify landing page, which will ask you which store to connect it to, and you will select probably the only store available. I run three stores right now, so I'm gonna select the one that I have connected for my music. This will take you to the Spotify for Artists app. You will then click I accept the terms, and then you're gonna click connect your Spotify for Artists. Once your store is actually connected, you're just going to want to make sure that all of your products that you want to have listed on your Spotify store are actually available and listed as available on your Spotify store. And to do that, you can head into your products, select the item you would like to edit, and you can check your product status over here on the side. Right underneath product status, it says active, then it says sales channels and apps, manage and once inside here you can choose where you would like to have your products listed as you can see i've got it selected for facebook and instagram as well as spotify for artists and my online store and it really is as simple as that let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful and if you did find it helpful please consider tossing this video a like and following my channel for more tips on how you can grow as a musician and small business owner and if you're on a roll and you feel like watching more content that will help you grow online as a musician i'm gonna pop up a video right here that i think you might enjoy or you could always watch what youtube thinks you want to watch all right that's it from me for now okay bye